Alright, so welcome back to my channel, Math and Language, and we're going to discuss pre-calculus circle equation. The circle equation, we need to know two forms, yung standard form, pati general form. First one, discuss ko muna yung standard form. Ano ba yung standard form? So, ang standard form ay yung quantity x minus h square plus the quantity y minus k square is equal to r square. Ang pinakatatandaan nyo dito, yung h pati yung k. Yan yung sentro nyo eh. Dito yung sentro ng circle. So mostly, a-highlight ko naman yung h pati yung k. h yung blue, k is the green one, and yung radius is red. In the event na wala siyang h pati k, automatic yan. Yung sentro mo ay nasa origin. 0, 0, x, 0, y, 0, origin yan. So, let's have some example lang para mas maitindihan natin. First question is, write the standard form of the equation of a circle with radius 4 and center at negative 1, 3. So, pag nakita mo yan, ilagay mo agad yung formula or yung standard form na the quantity x minus h square plus the quantity y minus k square is equal to r square. Always remember, ang h at k mo ay yung sentro. Ano ba yung given mo? Meron ka dito and center at negative 1, tapos 3. So, substitute mo. Yung negative 1, lagay mo dun sa h. At yung 3, lagay mo dun sa k. So, that will be x minus negative 1. Tapos yung sa kabila naman, that's y minus 3. Ngayon, isimplify is na lang natin. So, magiging x plus 1 na siya kasi negative. Minus negative eh. Tapos yung sa kabila, as is pa rin. At sagutan mo na rin yung 4 square. That will be 16. At, ayun yun yung final answer mo. Ayun yun yung standard form ng equation of circle with radius 4 and center at negative 1, 3. The quantity x plus 1 square plus mo sa quantity na y minus 3 square is equal to 16. Ayun yun yung pinaka-answer. Ayun yung gusto ng prof nyo or teacher nyo. Next example tayo. Paano naman pag pinagraph na sa inyo to? Okay. So, graph the equation, the quantity x minus 2 square plus the quantity y minus 1 square is equal to 4. So, remember the formula ulit. Meron tayong lagay mo ulit yung negative 2 dun sa place ng h that will be x minus 2 tapos yung k Yung negative 1, lagay mo sa place ng k. That will be 1, di ba? Y minus 1 na. Remember, ang h at k, in yung sentro mo. So, ang center at 2 and 1. So, ang radius natin ay 2. Bakit? Kasi r square is equal to 4. If you want to take only r, you have to extract the roots to both sides. So, that will be, yung square root ng r square is r, and square root ng 4 ay 2. So, r is equal to 2. So, pag in na natin siya, yung centro mo ay nasa 2 and 1. Hanapin mo muna yung 2, yung x is equal to 2 and 1, yung y is 1. So, yun na, yung centro mo. So, ang radius mo ay 2 at ayan na yung graph. Let's move on to general form. We have ax squared plus bx plus mo ng cx squared plus dy plus e is equal to 0. Kapag may general form ka, as much as possible, you want to transform it to standard form, which is the quantity x minus h squared plus the quantity y minus k squared is equal to r squared, with center at h and k. So let's have some example. Find the center and radius of the circle with the equation x squared minus 1 and 10x plus 1 and y squared minus 12y minus 3 is equal to 0. So yung first step natin, pag nakita ang ganyang problem at pinapanap sa yung center and radius of the circle, tapos naka-general form, lipat mo muna yung 3 sa kabila, yung constant. Ang constant mo lang naman dito yung negative 3, yung sa kaliwa. So, lipat mo siya sa kanan, so that will be x square minus 10x plus y square minus 12y is equal to 3. Next step, kailangan naman natin i-complete yung square. Paano? Papansin nyo, pin iniba ko lang yung kulay ng x squared minus 10x dun sa y squared minus 12y. Kailangan mo muna i-complete yung square ng dalawa na yan. Unahin ko muna dun sa x squared minus 10x. Para ma-complete yung square, yung 10 na yan, 
di-divide mo ng 2, tapos yung sagot niyan i-square mo. So, that will be 10 divided by 2 is 5. I-square mo, ang sagot ay 25. Same with, dun sa y square minus 12 boy, yung 12, di-divide mo ng 2, that will be 6. I-square mo siya, that will be 36. So, mapapansin mo, nagdagdag ako ng 25 dun sa x square minus 10x. So, maging x square minus 10x plus 25 na siya. Yung so, y square minus 12y naman, nagdagdag ako ng 36. So, lahat ng dinagdag ko dun sa kaliwa na equation, kailangan ko din idagdag sa kanan. Kasi diba, equation to eh. So, dapat equal both sides. At kapag nasimplify na natin, we can factor it out. So, ang x square minus 10x plus 25, pag factor mo, that will be the quantity x minus 5 square na lang. Tapos ang y square minus 12y plus mo ng 36. Pag factor mo, that will be the quantity y minus 6 square. That's equal to 64. So, mapapansin mo, nagiging mukha na siyang standard form. Ito yung, di ba? Yung quantity x minus h square plus the quantity y minus k square. It's equal to r square. Okay na, di ba? So, isa substitute na lang natin yung negative 5 sa h at yung y minus 6 sa y minus k. So, ang center natin ay 5 and 6. Ganun palagi, in-negate mo siya palagi. Kung napansin mo, x minus 5 siya, so sa center mo, magiging 5. Pag negative 5, 5 siya. So, kung positive 5 siya, x plus 5, ang center mo is negative 5. So, dahil negative to, positive ka dito. So, ang center mo ay 5, 6. Okay. So, sa so radius naman, ang r square is 64. To get the radius, i-extract mo lang yung roots. So, that will be 8. So, graphing na tayo. So, ang center ng circle daw ay 5 at 6. At ang radius ay 8. Okay, yung blue line na makikita nyo dun sa image, in yung radius. Ga in yung ganun siya kahaba. And that's the already the final answer. In yun. Okay, let's move to the second example. Ito, medyo mahirap to. Paano kung may, con may coefficient dun sa tabi ng x square, pati dun sa y square? So, find the center and radius of the circle with the equation 16x squared plus 16y squared minus 8y minus 15 is equal to 0. So, again, yung first step, listen mo muna yung negative 15. Yung constant, lagay mo muna sa kabila. So, that will be 16x squared plus 16y squared minus 8y is equal to 15. Second step, naglagay lang ako ng 0x dun sa tabi ng 16x square. Para lang, placeholder lang, para lang makita nyo. Kahit naman wala yan, parehas naman yung value kasi 0 naman siya. So, 16x square plus 0x plus 16y square minus 8y is equal to 15. So, third step natin is 16 times the quantity x square plus 0x. So, finactor out ko lang yung 16. Same with the 16y square minus 8y. So, tinanggal ko lang yung 16. So, that will be 16 times the quantity y square minus 1 half y. Sa so, nanggaling yung 1 half, yung 8, dinivide ko ng 16, 1 half ang sagot. Same with 16y square, divide mo ng 16, ang sagot y square, di ba? So, factoring lang yan. So, equal sa 15. So, next step natin, let's complete the square. Then sa x square plus 0x, tapos dun sa y square minus 1 half y. So, dun sa x square plus 0x, so, pwede naman kahit hindi mo na siya i-complete yung square kasi 0 naman din yung lalabas. So, pakita ko lang. So, 0 divide mo ng 2. Ito sagot noon. I-square mo. So, 0 pa rin. Next naman, yung 1 half, i-divide ko ng 2. Ang sagot ay 1 fourth. Pag in-square mo siya, 1 fourth times 1 fourth, that will be 1 16. So, doon ang galing 1 16. Okay, so, sabi niyo sir, di ba, kung ano yung nakuha ko doon sa completing the square, ilalagay ko din lahat sa kanan. So, ang ilalagay ko na lang sa kanan ay 116. Hindi. Hindi ganun kadali yun. Bakit? Mapapansin mo, may 16 ka sa labas ng parenthesis eh. Tinan mo ah, yung 16 na yan, yan, hinighlight ko na, 16 times 0 is 0. So, yung 16, times 1 ng 1 over 16, 
that's one. So, one lang yung idadagdag mo dun sa kanan. So, be careful ha. Kaso kung wala naman 16 dyan, wala naman nakalagay dyan na 16 or any number sa labas ng parenthesis, then, 1, 16, 1 over 16 lang ang idalagay mo dun sa kanan. Okay, so napansin mo, nagdagdag tayo ng 1 sa kabila. So, isimplify na natin. So, the answer will be 16 na lang sa kanan. At ayan na. At papapansin mo, pwede nyo na siyang simplify further by dividing both sides of the equation by 16. So, pag ginawa ko yan, that will be, ito na lang, x squared plus 0, x plus 0, plus mo ng y squared minus 1 half y plus 1 over 16 is equal to 1. So, dahil okay na, wala na yung mga 16 na yan, pwede mo nang i-factor. So, yung x squared plus 0, x plus 0, pag pinactor mo, that will be x plus 0, in quantity x plus 0 square, plus mo ng the quantity y minus 1 fourth square is equal to 1. So, balik ko lang yung standard form equation. So, that will be the quantity x minus h square plus the quantity y minus k square is equal to r square. So, ang h natin ay 0, kahit naman inigate mong 0, 0 pa rin, ba? At ang k natin is 1 fourth. Negative 1 fourth siya. Kasi pag negate mo, that will be 1 fourth. And r square is 1. Kasi square root ng 1 ay 1 pa rin, ba? So dahil ang h natin ay 0 at ang k natin ay 1 fourth, ayun yung center natin. Ang radius naman natin ay 1. So may nyo sa image, yun yung graph na equation. Alright, so moving on, let's have some miscellaneous. Ito yung mga center at passing through and points of the diameter. Ito mapapansin nyo palagi sa exam to. So let's have the first example. Find the equation of the circle with center at 0, 0 or origin with the radius is equal to 3. So kapag ganyan, lagay mo lang yung standard form equation ng circle which is the quantity x minus h square plus the quantity y minus k square is equal to r square. So yung 0 is substitute mo siya sa h and yung isa pang 0, substitute mo sa k. So that will be the quantity x minus 0 square plus the quantity y minus 0 square is equal to 9. So, matik yan. Pag 0, 0, yung center mo, origin yan. So, x square plus y square is equal to 9. Ini yung mismong sagot. Ini yung final answer mismo. Alright, so next question. Find the equation of the circle with center at negative 2 and negative 5 with a diameter of 18. So, pag ganyan, ang center daw natin ay negative 2 at negative 5. So, ang diameter 18, para makita natin yung radius, i-divide mo lang yung diameter by 2. So, 18 divided by 2, that will be 9. Pag in-square mo, that's 81. So, ayun yung r-square natin. So, substitute lang natin, center mo daw yung negative 2. So, ang h mo, negative 2, in-negate mo siya, that will be x plus 2. Kasi, x minus negative 2 is x plus 2, right? At y minus negative 5, that will be y plus 5. So, yun yung final answer. The quantity x plus 2 square plus the quantity y plus 5 square is equal to 81. Alright, so hirapan natin ng konti. Paano pag tinanong ang um, find the equation with circle with n points of the diameter 0, 0, and 6, 8. So first step natin, napin mo yung midpoint to find the center. Isipin mo, diameter, diameter ba? So ito yung longest chord na nagpa-pass, nagpa-pass dun sa center. So yung, yung dalawang dulo ng diameter mo ay 0, 0 at 6, 8. Para mahanap natin yung center, kailangan mong kunin yung midpoint. So, paano natin kukunin yung midpoint? We have the formula x sub 1 plus x sub 2 over 2. Tapos yung sa kabila naman, that will be y sub 1 plus y sub 2 over 2. Substitute natin, that will be 0 plus 6 over 2 and 0 plus 8 over 2. So, ang sagot, ang midpoint mo ay 3 and 4. Aining center ng circle. So, dahil natin natin yung center ng circle, hanapin naman natin yung radius. Paano natin hanapin yung radius? Hanapin natin yung distance ng center tapos dun sa isang sa dulo ng diameter. 
isang endpoint. So, either 0,0 or 6,8 yung gagamitin mo. So, paano ba natin mahanap yung distance? Pag take na yung tao mo, tutukang the distance. Okay, ang <laughs> corny. So, going back, ang distance formula is the square root of the quantity x sub 2 minus x1 square plus the quantity y square minus y, y sub 1 square. So, substitute lang natin. Para makuha yung distance, that will be the square root of the quantity 0 minus 3 square plus the quantity 0 minus 4 square. So, pag simplify natin, so algebra lang yan, that will be 9 plus po ng 16. Kunin mo yung square root, that will be 5. Ayun yung distance. So, again, di ba sabi ko kanina, yung distance ng center and dun sa end point ng diameter, ayun yung radius. So, ang radius natin ay 5. So, dahil meron na tayong center, meron na rin tayong radius, pwede na natin ilagay siya sa standard form equation ng circle. So, substitute ko, lagay ko yung 3 dun sa H at yung 4 sa K. So, ang sagot mo ay the quantity X minus 3 square plus the quantity Y minus 4 square is equal to 25. Ayun yung sagot mismo. Okay, last question. May mapapansin kayong gantong tanong din eh. Find the equation of the circle passing through the point negative 1, 1, with center 3 and negative 2. Pag ganito yung tanong, iligay mo lang yung standard form equation ng circle, which is the quantity x minus h square plus the quantity y minus k square is equal to r square. So, i-substitute mo na yung center natin, that will be 3 and negative 2. So, paano naman yung negative 1 and 1? Doon mo siya ilalagay sa x and y. Kaya naging ganito. The quantity negative 1 minus mo na 3 square plus the quantity 1 plus 2 square is equal to r square. Do some algebra lang. So, negative 1 minus 3 is negative 4. Square mo siya, that will be 16. And yung 1 plus 2 is 3. Square mo, that will be 9 is equal to r square. So, 16 plus 9, that's 25 is equal to r square. Kunin mo lang yung square root ng both sides and you get the r. That's equal to 5. Dahil nakuha mo na yung r, which is 5, so pwede mo nang ilagay siya sa equation. Dun sa x minus 3, square mo yun, plus y plus 2, square is equal to 25. So, ayun yung mismong sagot. And that is the end of the video on pre-calculus circle equation. Kung meron kayong tanong or may assignment kayo, comment down below. At pa-like and subscribe na rin. Okay? So again, Ako po si James, your math and language instructor. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.